Hello everyone, welcome to my garden, and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful hydroponic crab key system, like you see in front of you. What we need for this would be a reservoir, we're going to be using a glass mason jar. This is a wide mouth mason jar with a 3 inch opening. You need a net pot, this is a 3 inch net pot that fits perfectly right up top rock wool which is expanded rock cubes it holds moisture very well we'll put that right inside clay pebbles this is a hydroponic clay media that holds the plant in place and it retains moisture pretty well we're gonna put that inside what that does will it'll cover up the rock wool and it won't allow any algae from growing now you also need very important to add your nutrient fertilizer we are using a combination of Master Blend 41838, 2 grams, calcium nitrate, 2 grams, and Epsom salt, 2 grams. And this that mixture is going to be for a one gallon container of water. So you want for one gallon of water, 2 grams of this. 2 grams of calcium and 1 gram of Epsom salt and just mix that up you would pour it right in and then it would look something like this now here we have a baby basil plant growing now as you see this net pot doesn't exactly fit into this jar but that's perfectly fine because what you want is for the water level to touch the bottom of the neck cup right here just enough for the roots to start developing and to grow down into the water and this water over here would have everything the plant would need for its life cycle that you provided it with the nutrient water that you added earlier now as you see here you could see the beautiful white root system growing from this one little tiny basil plant that I clipped not too long ago to make the side shoots start growing and as you see it has a really nice big white beautiful root growing now what you'd want to do is just completely leave this alone you don't need to add any additional water to this you would just allow the water level to drop all the way down until it reaches basically empty at which point you would be you could refill it if you need if the plant is still growing it has more life in it you would refill it all the way up but not to your original start point it would have to be slightly lower this is a good example of how high you would want to pour it in if you are refilling it because you if you refill it all the way up you will drown these roots that have turned into oxygen roots and you wouldn't want to do that because that would most likely kill your plant and th that's what we have for you now to build a system like you have in front of you the only additional thing that we, we haven't talked about that you would need would be some chalk paint this is a small 8 ounce jar it's a ultra matte color and it works really well for designing your glass jars and you could take just some any regular old chalk and what it would do would be to customize the jars nice and easy and if you want to find any of these items for purchase you're gonna find the links down below and don't forget to click the like if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching